graders, uh, this is your uh, skateboard being made by Mr. Lang. Um, normally I don't make any cuts for students in the 8th grade because by the time they're in 8th grade they can do all that themselves. But since you guys can't do this at home, I'm going to go ahead and uh, help you out a little bit, make some cuts, get everything set up, and then give you some sandpaper and some things to finish them up and do your artwork at home. Uh, all I'm going to be doing today is taking this template, which like we did for the surfboard, um, tracing it onto the actual uh, deck, which I get from uh, Mr. M's World, which is an awesome setup where the guys at Santa Cruz uh, send blanks to woodshop teachers for their students. So they uh, sent these over to us at cost. Uh, then I'm tracing it on there, putting the line, which you can see right there, all the way around and marking the holes for the trucks. And I'm going to go ahead and do that here for you guys and then do some cutting. So here we go. So this is the standard template for all the short boards that I've got for the kind of trick skateboards. Um, but for, there's a couple wider ones called the old school board. And I'm going to go ahead and use Jinu's template because he did such a good job making this board. Um, if you end up, you know, kind of seeing close, you can see he made all these little marks on there and made it just perfect and, and really took his time. He took so much time with, with his math and with everything on this, he almost didn't finish his board. Um, so we're going to honor all that hard work. Good job, Janu. We're going to use his template for some of the other old school skateboards. So here we go. All right, so we'll use the jigsaw and got it clamped and ready. We'll cut out the sides and that's about it for the cutout. Then we'll be doing a couple holes with the drill press and then uh, a little bit of light sanding and then the rest is up to you eighth graders. All right, eighth grade. So the, be uh, the beginning of the sanding process is like this. Um, you gotta find the middle line of your board. And if you look kind of closely in the center, you'll be able to find it. It's 11 ply. So if you count over one, two, three, it's, or actually, no, sorry, this one's seven ply. So you're gonna go one, two, three. And the, the fourth line is the center. You don't wanna round past that from either side. So you'll round halfway here and halfway there and you'll start with the rough sandpaper this emery paper and you kind of round it like so and then i'm going to give you two sheets i'm going to give you one full sheet of about 150 and then i'll give you 220 and that's going to be the one that you finish it off with so i'll just do a quick demo on how you're going to sand it you can either hold it in your in your legs if you'd like or you can sit down and just kind of you know somehow get a hold of it but if you just go back and forth and you really kind of round that edge back and forth, it gets down pretty quick and gives you something that should look a little bit like that. So it's rounded both sides. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use the sandpaper and I'm gonna just kind of hit both sides of that as well. Now, it won't be totally done until you finish with the 220, but when you finish with that, you'll see it's really nice and, and smooth there. And you wanna do that around the whole board. Take everything down, make it look really nice. Um, and that's pretty much it. And then your board's ready to ride. Uh, then you can do some artwork and make it look beautiful. All right, thanks. 
Hope you can see that, everybody. That is the, the finished roundness and smoothness. You can see the other edges are kind of square, but this one right here is super duper smooth and round on both sides, and that's the finished look. So, kind of a fun story about these skateboards and the history of that at OBS. Mr. Bartlett, the woodshop teacher before me, um, got a hold of uh, Bob Merriam, a woodshop teacher from Santa Cruz, California. And the story goes, he was the woodshop teacher for the guys who started Santa Cruz Skateboards. And he inspired them and helped them build skateboards in the shop in like the 70s. And they just started to really love skateboarding. and ended up uh, going on to make Santa Cruz Skateboards uh, a big company that now has bikes and snowboards and skateboards and everything. And uh, He inspired them so much in the shop and gave them the tools necessary to build stuff. And they ended up uh, getting so big and, and doing such a great job that they said, you know what, that inspiration deserves uh, to happen to all kids. So they send blanks to uh, woodshop teachers at cost uh, through uh, Mr. M's world, Mr. Bob Merriam, uh, who continues to this day, he's in his like 80s or maybe even close to his 90s, I think his son is doing it now, and still provides skateboards at cost to, to students all over the world with uh, really quality USA made maple, and it's just such a fun project. I, I know the pre-Kers start and they love looking up to the 8th graders and seeing what you can do uh, when you finish finish your time at lower and hopefully just ride right out of the classroom. So there you go. Kind of makes me want to go skateboarding. Let's go skate. Girl, I never loved one like you